In this lesson, we will look at TypeScript's lookup types and how they can help clean up your code without having lots of single-use types floating around and even increase your code safety when working with external libraries. So let's go. I once worked on an application where the backend gathered a bunch of information similar to what is shown over here as a part of a submit request that it needs in order to process a user's application. Various portions of the UI would gather different portions of the submit request. As an example, one portion of the UI was responsible for collecting the credit card token from the user. Now the UI team wanted to ensure that this portion of the UI would return the correct data as expected by the submit request. Now one option would be to refactor the payment portion of the submit request into its own unique type, and then use that type as the return type annotation for the method returning the payment information. Now there are two issues with this. First, we need to coordinate with the backend team to get them to split up this simple submit request into multiple types that they will not even use in their codebase. Secondly, if we are only using this type once, it adds to the type noise in our codebase. Fortunately, we can avoid both of these issues by using TypeScript's lookup types. We can generate types on the fly from the submit request by using square brackets to look up the type of any of its members, for example, the payment portion. And now we have guaranteed that this function returns the correct type as expected by the payment member of the submit request, protecting us from silly typos and mistakes. Now, if you find yourself using this type more than once in your codebase, you can still refactor it out into a named type alias without having to coordinate a modification of the shared submit request. TypeScript even provides a convenient extract refactoring for this purpose. Now there was another portion of the request that was utilized by a few components in the UI. There was a component dedicated to collecting a previous alias of the user. Notice that the previous alias's member of the personal details is an array. Lookup types can also be used to collect the type of the individual item in an array. To start off, we can collect the aliases array the same as before by looking up personal and then the previous aliases. And now to collect the type of the member of the array, all we need to do is to look up the zeroth element. This zeroth lookup gives us the type of the array elements and you can see that in the type information for previous alias request. And that's all for lookup types in TypeScript Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.